But first, Lego. The old toys are definitely the best. And Lego is so popular that despite only having been invented 50 years ago, it's been voted Toy of the Century. Twice. Most Lego begins life as tiny granules of plastic at this factory in Denmark. There are 14 silos full of different colors, containing 33 tons in total. Pipes suck the granules out of the silos on their way to be melted down, molded into bricks and then built into spaceships, castles and farmyard animals. In this hall, there are over a thousand machines making the bricks 24 hours a day. But there's not a single person in sight. The machines melt the granules at 232 degrees Celsius, shape them, cool them down, and then spit them out into the containers below, all in under 10 seconds. This rapid process helps LEGO to make 1.7 million bricks every hour. That adds up to an enormous 15 billion a year. The factory is almost completely automated. When a container is full, a robotic car collects it and takes it to the storage hall. In the vast hall, another automated system takes each crate to its specified shelf. But LEGO isn't just a bunch of plastic bricks. The world of LEGO is populated with all kinds of tiny people. This machine spits out 15,000 heads an hour. A rubber stamp gives the heads a face. Smiles for the good guys. Scowls for the baddies. The bodies are made and painted just like the heads, and this is where they'll be joined together. Firemen will get their uniforms, knights don their armor, and pirates will be given their plastic wooden legs. You might not recognize this well-known character at the moment, but all will be revealed. When a camera spots a school uniform the wrong way round, the body is ejected by a blast of air to come round again. As the heads and bodies are attached, a Lego Harry Potter appears. In another part of the factory, a designer has got the job of thinking up yet another new way to put the bricks together. The boffins have worked out that with just six regular bricks, there are over 900 million combinations. So he's got no excuses for drawing a blank. But box sets are small potatoes compared to the huge sculptures in Legoland. 120 full-time designers work in warehouses to create everything and anything they can conjure up in their Lego-driven minds. If you thought a pyramid was tricky to build, just imagine trying to make one of these. Even with computers to guide them, it's a complicated and time-consuming business. With thousands of bricks being used for each model, it can take up to a month to build one.
Lego has made its name by being simple, but some of the sculptures it can be used to create are anything but. Its versatility is the key to its enduring appeal, and it's helped Lego sell an amazing 200 billion bricks worldwide.